I made a huge mistake and I thought I was gonna get arrested. We'll cover that in a second. Well, I'm usually the captain for these adventures. I'm gonna defer to Emmy today. Gotta love the low bridges of Tokyo. I studied to get my captain's license here in Japan a couple years back. And last year, right? Yeah. I went out to shoot a video and I was in a narrow canal of Tokyo, which I'm allowed to be in. Yes, yes, that was fine. <laughs> when an officer from above asked me to stop the boat. But the thing about rivers is they, they flow. So you can't just stop the boat and you can't anchor in a narrow canal. Well, this particular officer wasn't happy about this and said that if I kept running away, she was gonna arrest me. I panicked. Yeah. I, I didn't know what to do. I called up the marina and Emmy, and Emmy was like, no, you are fine to be there. Give them our information. I was threatened with jail time and arrest and everything, and then later found out that that was a bit of a special day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. You see, the streets up above were actually closed for the funeral procession of the former Prime Minister, Shinzo Abe. And I had managed to get into that area via boat, so her panic was, I guess, warranted. Uh -huh, that was a special day, and that was not uh, his fault. Only the day was bad. I was also with my buddy Mitch, so two non-Japanese people on a boat in an area that's closed off probably did some red flags, but today we're enjoying Tokyo from the waterways at night. And let's enjoy it. What is that boat? That's like Hansen is a sailboat. That's for a training boat. This boat is named Nihonmaru. Tomorrow she is leaving, so today is the last day for her to stay in Tokyo for this month. Wow. All right. This is why I brought Emmy along today and why I call Emmy the ultimate Tokyo waterway expert. Look at this. Everything I know about the Tokyo waterways, I learned from Emmy. Wow. What I like is if they want to make an illumination, they should light up only the boat. But you see, they put the light near the water. So from far away, you can see all the shapes and that looks so beautiful. But you know what the hardest part of these videos is? Mm -hmm. Getting stable shots yes. while on a shaky boat. And the most place I like is here. This is the perfect spot to take the rainbow. my favorite spot. And then there is a loop around near the Rainbow Bridge and when you go inside, it's a very good spot to take a look. It's not a sightseeing place, but I just like it. You know what I mean? For all the times that I've come out into the Tokyo Bay, I have I didn't, I didn't even know you could come in here. I've never come in here. Well, because this is not the sightseeing place. <laughs> but I like wow. it because like if you get inside here, like you can see 360 of the views, taking a look for the monorail going around and there's a lot of boat. And on the back side, you can see the other boat, Tokyo Bay area here. I'm a crazy of a boating and I love a Tokyo boat and I love to see a lot of type of the boat and then there's a jet hoil. Ah, That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Cars. When they come back, they are like taking a rest here uh -huh. and I like to watch what they're doing. Really? <laughs> yes, it's not the sightseeing place, okay? <laughs> well, but I just love it to see the people behind because we can have fun going on the ferry uh -huh. or like going on these kind of uh, jet boat and then because of that, there's a lot of people working on it, and now they're working for it. So I like to take a look that they are the people who are for us, and I admire them so much. So I just take a look with a slow speed, with no wakes, and then get near and you can take a look for it. This one is called 
高速ジェット船。Now this is moved by the jet hoil, and the engine is same as like the airplane. So they can lift up their boat. They can go fast, and usually like it takes six hours, seven hours for the big ferry boat. But this one only take one hour and forty minutes to go to Oshima. Wow! So high speed with this one. What's their top speed? That's one you should ask Google. <laughs> that mean that these here are your dream apartments? Here, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe I love to live here. <laughs> you see that building? That's beautiful. On the top side,、yeah. there's a light, and、yeah. the roof height is so high, and you can see this one every day. It's amazing. But you know, just you have to worry about the tsunami.、Yeah. That's the way. <laughs> I love this. Worried about the tide because today the tide is so high. You can see it like it's almost near the land, and so we're gonna be go to New Hombashi. But if you want to go there, you should always check the tide. Well, otherwise it's too dangerous. Who's to open here? From 1970, it's not open because if you want to open it, we have to stop the car, so they can't do it anymore. So that bridge used to open. Yes. What? Yeah, it's like a traffic jam out here. Yeah, yeah, it is. I had no like during the daytime. The Tokyo waterways can get pretty busy, but I had no idea they got this busy at night. Most of these are what are called yakata bune, which will take you out for like a dinner cruise. Each one with a little bit of a different theme, different captains, atmosphere, menu, everything. I hear they're really good for the hanabi season when you go out and watch the fireworks from the yakata bune. We're going to be going inside Nihonbashi Gawa, the Nihonbashi River, and this bridge is called Toyomi Bashi. Is that a friend? Yes. His name is Hiraima San. <laughs> yeah, I love how you not only know the name of every single bridge,、uh -huh. but also the captain of every single boat that we've come <laughs> across so far. Not every single, but most of them、every、are、single. my friends. <laughs> Since getting my license here in Japan, I've actually fallen in love with the culture. Oh yes! Like the boating culture and the people in Japan are so beautiful. It wasn't. I got my license out in where did I get? <laughs> I got my license out in Biwako, and then I did my training here in Tokyo under Emmy,、yeah. and that's how we met. And since then, I've just fallen in love with in the Tokyo, culture. In Tokyo, right? Yeah. Love it. Everything we got the historical things, and also we have the new technical things also. Yeah. So now this is the famous building, the、oh. Mitsukan. You know the Mitsukan, the vinegar. I think、okay. it's maybe only in Japan, but they're using it from 400 years. Wow. From Edo period. We just have enough clearance. Yes. <laughs> See this. This is why Emmy was worried about tide. <laughs> This actually can fold down if we need to, but we should be leaving it up for safety. And wow, that's beautiful. I think it's fine, but I also have one more place that I have to watch out. I will show you later. Okay. Okay. Nihonbashi. It's amazing. You said like you just bring something. What did you bring? 
<laughs> what, did I, what did I bring for you? This seems like the perfect time, I'll tell you about. This next little section is going to be both sponsored and delicious as we give some love to Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. If you don't know them, they are both subscription snack boxes that allow you to experience Japan from the comfort of your own home or I guess, well, anywhere, with the biggest difference being that Tokyo Treat gives you 20 of the latest limited edition pop or seasonal snacks, like these here chocolate orange Kit Kats. Emmy, catch. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Love the mix of chocolate and orange. They've also got blueberry marshmallows this month and a little can of De Cavita. While Sakurako partners with local Japanese snack makers to give you 20 traditional, authentic, and artisanal Japanese snacks, like the little senbei, always comes with a tea. And there's always a piece of tableware in there. This month is a beautiful set of chopsticks. Blueberry marshmallows are spectacular. And from the Sakurako box, I'm trying the curry senbei. Mm. Now with sirens in the background, each box has a monthly theme. This month, Tokyo Treat is Mount Fuji Snack Adventure. And Sakurako is Wonders of Saitama. And both boxes have everything outlined and detailed beautifully in the books that come along with them. These sour paper things, love these too. Mm. Now if you want to give them a shot, you can use my link in the description box down below along with my code to give yourself $5 off your first box. I'm giving you one of these boxes. But I wrap up and there's Emmy playing with the 360 camera. This is my favorite things. And the reason why I have this because he told me this one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice? <laughs> I've got mine right here. Would you like to trade this one? <laughs> Which one do you want? Well, I definitely love the candies one. I ate a bunch of them, so I'll just, I'll give you the, there you go. There you go. Whoa. I'm sorry for eating your snacks. No, um, you know that? I'm very hungry right now. <laughs> because I work for the daytime. I do appreciate you taking us out at night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Don't I make me feel guilty. Hungry, and then these candies will make me so happy. There you go. Yeah. I'm glad I could help. You said there was still more you wanted to show me. Yes, yes, I have right. a lot of places I need to go. All right, let's go. They're really? Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. You can drink the champagne. They're sponsored by Moe Champagne. Yeah. Okay. I think this is the only the boat in Tokyo with the Moe Champagne. That is amazing. Uh -huh. He talks English very well. Really? So, yes. If you come to Japan and if you want to lay in the Tokyo Bay area with the Champagne, then uh -huh. ask me and then I can introduce him. This is a really rare view, like a rare experience yes, to be uh -huh. able to come out and experience the Tokyo waterways at night like this. Our real job is we teach the boat license school and you can huh. take the license with me hmm. and you can land the boat in the daytime but not in the nighttime. Yep. Yeah. So you just want to hang out then I'll uh, introduce my friend and I've got a lot of friends in Tokyo Port here. This section is not sponsored by the way. This is just... It is not a sponsor. It's just one of those things that you have to come out and do with such a rare and beautiful Tokyo experience. In this area, one of the things that makes it really challenging is you've got all these support poles for the highway and you've got to navigate your way around them. The very first time I came through here, I was probably far more nervous than I should have been, but I'm pretty sure that's what kept me safe. Yeah. Nervous is good. Nervous they, is good. They say it's not typically the newer captains that get into the most accidents. It's the guys who've gotten really comfortable and done it for years. So when I did my training, they were like, stay nervous. Stay nervous as, as long as you can, just be cautious. I can literally touch that. One of my favorite things about Tokyo, whether it be from the land or from the waterways, is you'll get a mix of all these buildings and then you'll get these one old building that's just managed to survive everything and lasted all these years just tucked into all of this and there's just something so beautiful about it. How long have you been on the water? Well, maybe around 50 years. Out of, no, 15. 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Not 50. <laughs> After I graduated high school, one of my friends had the boat and then I had the experience with them and that was, I was very really into it and now I'm just doing this job and I couldn't quit it and I'm doing it for 15 years so wow. for this one.
So Emmy and I were hoping to take a peek at Tokyo Tower from the waterways tonight, but you may have noticed that it's a full moon. And a little known fact is that when it's a full moon out, they actually turn Tokyo Tower off so that you can focus on the full moon. There's something touching that a city as large as Tokyo would do something like that. On a clear night with a full moon, here guys, just, just focus on the moon. Mind you, it does flicker once an hour on the hour for one minute to let you know that the hour has changed. So many herons out on the water tonight. We are now in Kamejimagawa, okay. and this bridge is Minami Takabashi. This is more than 100 years, and now we're still using this bridge. Hanging out with Emmy always feels like I'm on a tour. Like our initial training together, when you trained me on the Tokyo waterways, oh, yeah. Honestly, it didn't feel like training. It genuinely felt like I was getting this amazing tour of Tokyo. There's a lot of amazing spots that I would like to introduce, but there's no chance to show you. So it's a good chance for me to introduce every place is here. Uh, every single place, I'm very happy to go on the waterways. The waterways in general are beautiful. I'll link like a playlist of waterways videos. But it takes me a full day boat rental to uh -huh. shoot like a 10 minute video. Ooh. <laughs> also, Emmy, okay. this spot right here is one of my favorite views in all yes. of Tokyo from the water. It's called the Tsukuda River City and it's designed like 90s. And uh, I like this one because we call it Machiakari. The Machiakari. Pe yes, people's the light, not like the illuminations, the one nobody designed it. This one, all the lights from the people's living life, we call this machiakari. awesome and can you take a look this one they're gonna be start light up like this like a spotlight <laughs> turn this way okay take a look this way I love this bridge because Kachidoki Martin is here and I'm taking a look at this bridge every day, and every day I feel like this bridge is awesome. Emmy has been snacking the whole way back. There's no way I'm going to be able to fit everything you taught me into one video. I might do an extra piece just for Patreon. We should do this again. Definitely. Also, we were wearing life vests. We've just got these, these like waists, these like this. We're safe. We're doing things properly. <laughs>